Hi guys, so Dominic Raab, the Justice Secretary, must have drawn the shortest straw as he was sent out to defend the government and Number 10 in particular this time. He attempted to gaslight the public when defending what took place in May 2020 in Downing Street. Raab was challenged here by Kay Burley of Sky News and his attempts to dismiss this as not a social gathering but people working in a stressful environment hinged on the extreme. Let's listen to how Rab defended what happened in the garden. Here comes a question about that photograph that's on the front pages of the papers um, today. Um, uh, the PM enjoying wine and cheese. I know you're going to say that it was a business meeting, etc., etc. When was the last time you took your wife and baby to a business meeting? Well, in fairness, um, I don't live in the place of work uh, where I work. So n n that number 10 Downing Street uh, e and the garden is used for work. Uh, it was used uh, throughout. The um, he said it was used for work. Do you see people working here? Do you see laptops? Do you see tablets, uh, iPads? Do you see a, a whiteboard with Dominic Raab or Boris Johnson or Dominic Cummins explaining something? I don't see that. I see bottles of wine numerous bottles of wine, people sitting around tables, eating and drinking. Now, probably what happened was there was work before that, and then after work, everyone meets in the garden for a chat and a glass of wine and some cheese. A social event. I wouldn't call this a party. I wouldn't go as far as to say this was a party, but this was a social gathering that was breaking the rules that week. I think the PM is there seen just after the press conference he'd done and people, uh, folk at home will remember the daily press conferences and he'd had meetings uh, earlier I think with the health secretary earlier in the day or in the week um, and you can see staff there and, and uh, look, um, uh, so it's fundamentally a place of work. So it, this is not a question yeah, of whether... The, you can't take your baby to work, especially when we're in the middle of a lockdown and a Covid pandemic, surely? Well, but Kate, as you know, Number 10 is also the residence of the Prime Minister. He's got a very young family. And I think if you begrudge uh, the, the, um, his wife coming down in a break from um, the, the, the business of the day... But that's I, I don't not think happened. that's right. She's and, not just and popped her head around the door, has she? She sat down with the baby, nursing the baby. There's wine on the table. There's cheese there. There's at least 14, 15 other people in the garden. And that's because it's a place of work. They're all in suits. <laughs> well, actually, they're not all in suits, but how is that relevant? They were working, and then after work, so they were wearing their suits at work, and then they go into the garden for a drink. They're not working. As I said, I don't see any laptops on the table. I don't see any um, whiteboards. I don't see any tablets, any iPads or whatever. There's no work taking place here. People are having a chat. You can see, I don't know if you can see on the screen, it appears to be Dominic Cummins holding a glass of wine in his hand. You can see glasses of wine on numerous tables here. This was not work. This was a social event. Once again, I'm not going to say it was a party, but it was a social gathering because people are not working here. Um, or, or the, predominantly in no, the uh, informal no, the attire. Well, the, 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 the picture I saw had uh, people... No, it's on the screen at the moment. Have a look. Well, look, no, the, 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 uh, I think a large number of them. I, uh, to be honest with you, I, look, the Prime Minister is in a suit. Um, his, uh... <laughs> but Boris Johnson wears a suit most of the time. That's his excuse. Well, if you're wearing a suit, it doesn't mean that you're at a social gathering. I'm, I presume that when Dominic Cummins goes out to a fancy restaurant with his wife, he wears a suit. Does that mean that he's working? What a pathetic excuse. Uh, the officials there. But look, the point I'd make is look, this. Look, look. Well, so some of them have taken their jackets off. But, the, but, but, Kay... So it's only a business... So they're not working. This meeting, if you've got a suit on. Well, now you're changing your tune. No, this I'm is... asking you. I'm asking you. I'm trying to see your point of view, uh, well, then let me Prime answer. Let, let me answer, Kay. You normally do. You norm look, we, we know what happened here. Why are we dancing around this? Boris Johnson broke the rules. His, uh, his team at number 10 broke the rules. Let's just be honest about it. And just at this stage, Boris Johnson should just say, I don't give a crap. 
because I'd actually have more respect for him if he said that, instead of this lame attempt to say, yes, we were following the rules, or oh, look, they're wearing a suit, uh, yes, there's wine on the table, because sometimes people have a drink uh, in order to help the flow of the, you know, of information or something. How many times have you sat in a business meeting and there was glasses of wine on the table? Normally the wine is after the meeting, after work. You know, when you go to the pub, you generally don't continue to talk about work or take out a, a tablet and explain something to your colleagues. No. Work is over, you go to the pub. The pubs were closed, so they had a few drinks in the garden. Just be bloody honest about it. They can't be honest. In the same way they can't apologize. In the same way that they don't give a crap about the rules and the, and the regulations. They're all for ordinary people and they're above that. This is a pathetic response from Dominic Rabb. But then what are we to expect from Dominic Rabb? Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.